Hey y'all, it's me, Matt. That's it. And we're back with another video. Uh, 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 uh. Day to day to day video gonna be a spooky story time. Yes, y'all. I'm trying to get into the spirit or whatever. Y'all like the fit? Hold on, let's get. <laughs> Hold on. Fit is definitely giving what the girlies need to give. Hold on. Like, okay, I'm gonna talk about how I got scammed. How I think I got scammed. I don't have proof, y'all. This is like I don't have proof, but like I pretty much sure this person scammed me. That's why I never got my money back. But let's get into it because like I was so mad. Okay, so how it starts. This was like about two years ago. This is two and a half years ago three years i can't really remember but like it was like in college and i'm still in college now so it's kind of like recent but not too recent if you know what i'm saying so there's really only me and this other person involved in it so i'm going to name this person we're going to name this person crocs y'all that's the nickname okay so boom me and crocs mount this dating website or <laughs> i mean on this online a website like to meet new people because like i was from like indiana and i didn't really know a lot of people there and i didn't want to meet nobody at my school because i felt like a lot of people at my school was weird so i was trying to like branch out and find somebody new so then i found croc and me and croc was texting or whatever but i just got out of a relationship so i was very depressed very like you know in my sad girl era and i i felt like at that time how low i was I, a lot of stuff was happening at that time like i was really like really 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 low so like i was just like okay let me just like start messing around with people because i'm like not <laughs> that sounds like a hope not with people but like let me just have a like a sneak not even a sneak yeah a sneaky link because this person i didn't i'm talking too much anyways <laughs> I just wanted my little like sneaky link. I didn't want a cup. I did not want to be in a relationship. I kind of just wanted somebody that could, you know, you know, cut it up with, do my little one two type of thing. Like that's normal. So boom, I picked Croc because Croc was talking all big and freaky in the messages. And you know, one thing about me, y'all, I love me somebody that's like a little bit more freaky because I don't like no vanilla stuff. I I'm not a vanilla type of girl. So, like, Croc was talking all crazy. So, I was just like, okay, like, this could be a cool little thing. Like, nothing serious. Just a cool little vibe. But mind you, Croc is, like, 50 minutes away from me. So, Loki kind of far. So, like, but Croc drove. I didn't drive because y'all already know. If you're a supporter and you've been here on the channel for a while, y'all know that I'm scared to drive. I'm scared. I don't want to. I'm going to do it this summer. But deep down, I don't want to. But that's like a whole nother story for a whole nother day but so yeah so like croc would come up there to visit me here and there and it'd be good great vibes for real for real like when we did our little one too it was it was good like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie and say it was terrible it was it was it was cool it was it was like not bad um so yeah me and croc was like doing whatever for like i think like a couple months like probably two or three months but then one of the times, like, it's just started getting weird, like, because Croc was in, like, a gang. But I don't know if it's a real gang. I don't know what, what it was. I didn't ask no questions. But I was just like, okay, whatever. And I started feeling like um, Croc was weird. So, boom. I was over at Croc's place. And I accidentally left my um wallet in Croc's car. Cause like I said, uh, like my like I said in my um video before this, that's probably gonna get posted. I always like be losing my wallet. I don't know what's the problem with me, but like at this time, me and Croc was like doing what we were doing for like a few months. So I honestly didn't think too much of it because I left it in Croc's car. Like I didn't leave it in a random place and. Croc City. I didn't do it in the house. Like it was in Croc's car. So I would just I text Croc, Crocs and I was like, oh, I left my wallet in the car. Can you give me my wallet? Like bring it back to me or whatever. Cause I was so scared that I lost it. Crocs talking about, oh no, your own wallet's not in here. Like 
it's not in here. Someone must have stole it. Someone must have stole your wallet. Be and then Croc was like, because I just gave somebody, like, because, you know, Croc is a part of the gang. So, <laughs> driving, like, one of the gang members or somebody, like, somebody in the car. Like, some somebody suspicious that she's not that close with in the car, I guess. And I guess it was in the back seat. And that person stole it, apparently. So I was like, what? Somebody stole my wallet? Like, now you... But I'm like, you get in your car and you don't know there's a wallet in there? Like, it wasn't like a whole two weeks after. It wasn't like a week after. It was like dang there the next day. So, like, that fast, you gave a random person or, like, somebody that's suspicious a car ride. And now my wallet's missing. But, like, at the time, I just believed Croc because I was like, okay, I know you're with, like, you're kind of, like... Not sketchy, but you're like, you know, sketchy people because of the things you were like, you're in. So I was just like, okay, maybe he like lines up. So then Croc was like, I'm going to go find that person and beat that person up and get you your money back and get your wallet back. Da, 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 da. So I was like, oh, you're doing all that for me like that. Like that means a lot. Like I felt appreciated. I felt like, you know, I felt good because like you're getting me out my wallet back. So yeah, a couple days later. Croc got my wallet back and said, yeah, I beat this person up for your wallet back. They gave it back, da 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 No cars were taken, no nothing, da 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 So I was like, cool, like, everything's great. Mind you, though, this is, like, right after Christmas time. Like, this is, like, damn right after Christmas time. And my, I, I think my dad gave me, like, a lot of money. Like, I don't know how much money. Like, it wasn't, like, a crazy amount, but it was, like, enough that I'm, like, dang, I'm hurt that that person stole it. So, they stole my cash. And I'm, like, dang, like, that hurt real hard. Mind you, no, mind you, y'all. Mind you, mind you, mind you. I get my wallet back. I thought, okay, all I did was lose some cash. Like, okay, like, that's tough, but I can always get that back. At least my bank account it hasn't been touched. So I was like, cool, and my cars are in there. Somehow, y'all, the next day, I see, like, um, payments coming out of my bank account. I'm like, what the? F I'm like, what is going on? Like, I have my bank account, I mean, my car right here. Like, how is, like, all this money? Like, and mind you, y'all, I have money. Because, like, on my thing, it don't let me know at the time, like, until, like, um, I'm under, like, 500 till somebody's using my card. So, I didn't really know people were taking money on my card until then there was almost too late. Like, until it was really almost too late. And this is, like, towards, like, because after Christmas, you already get your stipend, but you don't get a stipend for the rest of the, like, year. So, like, all that money that's gone, like, now what I'm going to do? Like, like I can't get it back. So, I'm actually freaking out. I'm out pretty much all of my money. Because the little money I did have left after all that person took, it wasn't that much. It wasn't that much for me to live for, like, till, like, April or May. Till I got paid again. So... So that happened. I'm freaking out. I'm texting Crocs. I'm like, bro, bro, somebody's taking money on my bank account. What's going on? What do I do? Um, Crocs like, oh, they could have wrote down your information. Or da, 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 da. I don't know, y'all. It don't all make sense to me. But it just wasn't adding up. And then Crocs was like, I'm going to go beat them up. And I'm going to make them give me your money back. Some, some, some. Weeks later... Money never got back to me. Didn't really hear from um Croc. So I'm like, um, I hit Croc up. I'm blowing Croc up because I'm like, um, you know, I'm damn near finna be broke in college. Leave it. I left my wallet in your car one time and now all my money's gone. Like, what is going on? Like, you say you're going to beat them up. Mind you, looking at the knuckles, you wasn't fighting nobody. There's no cuts on your knuckles. Nothing was going on. So, like, now I'm feeling like you're playing with me. Because, like, how are you going to say you're beating people up to get my wallet back and to get my money back? And all I'm seeing is money taken out of my card. And then maybe you... And then now I was thinking, like, maybe Croc did knew my um pin number, too. Because I don't know why I always think people are not, like, messed up people. <laughs> But, like, there was sometimes when I used to pay for stuff, maybe, like, I would put my pin in. But I didn't care, like, or I didn't peep if she was, like, if Croc was, like, looking at me while I was putting my pin in. Because, like, I, I be trying to think the best in people. So, there's 
easier time that you could like look at my pin so you knew my pin to go to an atm and really take money out so i'm like okay so like what we're we gonna do about the money finally like a whole month and a half later crocs talking about oh i'm gonna get in a job because i feel so bad because this is like low-key my fall and i'm gonna get you your money back so i'm like oh okay thank you like thank you for helping me out ever since that talk never got my money back i don't know what job what was going on never got money back always said um oh it's coming it's coming or be patient be patient never got the money back and i was hitting up and this is when we been fell out because i was like no this is like some weird stuff like it's feeling like you did it like you're keep lying to me like why lie especially i don't play about money one thing about me y'all i do not uh, i do not play about money but when we were still good, y'all, this is when, like, um, the part of the story where we were talking about how, um, so there was this one time, Croc was supposed to, like, pick me up, so take me back to Croc's place so we could, you know, just, like, hang out with each other for a couple of days, because I was off. But then, like, the original plan for Croc to pick me up at 8 p.m. at my place. Croc didn't get there to like 12 30 a.m and i was like so i was so mad this day y'all i was just like don't come because i'm not coming outside i'm not coming all the way to your place you're not gonna get there to like 1 32 a.m like what are you supposed to be here at 8 you kept saying i'm on the way i'm on the way you got here at 12 30 when you're supposed to be here at 8 get the get out of here so i was already irritated but like i was bored because this is the time where i was i just okay i'm I was like, bro, I don't want to go out there. But then, like, um, Crocs forced, not even forced me, but, like, convinced me to go out there. Because, like, I'm here, like, come on, like, da 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 came anyways. So, I was like, whatever. I get in the car. No, mind you, like, when, when, um, when Crocs said they were outside, I was like, fine. Then they were like, oh, I got all these people in the car with me. Like, these are my people, like, like, they're, like, kind of people, like, they gang people or whatever and like some of their girls are with me or i mean with them or whatever like we're gonna go and then and then and then croc was like oh and we're gonna go to chicago real quick because like there's some money out there some 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 i don't know what it was but it was some that we had to go to chicago i said what chicago like no warning no nothing Croc was coming up here to take me to Chicago, which I didn't know because that wasn't the plan. The plan was going back to Croc's place, never to Chicago. But this is when I was still like, I was still like thinking, oh, that person could have scammed me. But I was also thinking like, oh, could have just been the people that were around. I don't know why I went in that car to Chicago because that could have been dangerous and really bad for me. But I was just dumb and young, so it was all a learning lesson. I don't know why I did that, not looking back at it. But I get in the car, because it was just weird, because it's like, first of all, you told me we were hanging out. Now you're telling me all your little gang members and girlfriends are in the car with you, and we have to go to Chicago. Like, that shit, that is just so sketchy when I just lost all my money to some gang people. But that's whatever. I couldn't get my money back because I tried to do, like, the um what's it called like the dispute but for some reason they was acting like i couldn't get the money back so i never got that money back so sad it was so much money y'all like if i told you the amount y'all would be like madison you're such a dumb ass and i know i know i know i was such a dumb ass i don't know like i was so dumb so i get in the car hella people in the car y'all like it's hella people like i'm like this is not even comfortable like the music they were playing was loud music mind you it's like 12 30 a.m playing loud music crazy music in a car full of random people people smoking i don't know what they smoking like it was just too much going on y'all it was too much going on so i'm tired cranky i didn't bring no water or nothing and then this is the time where it's like a little bit after so i didn't have that much money on me because you know i got scammed out all, pretty much all my money by that time so <laughs> i didn't really have anything and we go all the way to chicago and then i'm like oh where are we staying a motel a motel i'm staying in a motel and there's nothing wrong with people gotta stay in a motel 
but I traveled from my little nice dorm to a motel in Chicago, middle of nowhere. Literally looked so sketchy. Literally looked like I could get kidnapped any any second if I be by myself. Like the place was like so sketchy, y'all. I was like actually scared. Like I'm so surprised I didn't record no videos, but I think I was just so in shock at this point. I was just really trying to make sure I just get back home. Like I don't know why I did it. So we're at the motel. Um, Crack's telling me to like stay in the car, don't do anything, don't leave without you know no one because like it's low key kind of dangerous. I'm like, why did you take me here? What is wrong? Why would you fucking... I was so fucking mad. Like, what? I'm over here freaking out. Like, you're doing too much. So, they get the rooms. Mind you, they get two rooms. But, like, it's like... Like, six people in one is in each room. Because there were so many people with us. I'm like, why is there so many people? Like, it was so weird, y'all. Like, I'm with random people. I don't know them. They didn't even introduce me to no one. I'm just, like, literally there. So we finally get into the room and it's like fucking because it took it took so long for them to get the rooms like they didn't have enough money to barely get the rooms like I don't know that's why it took so long. So we it's like three 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 thirty and we're waiting to um we finally get into the room. I'm so tired but at this point I'm low key kind of thirsty too because all this smoke was in the air in the car. I'm tired. I've been going through so much. All I want was some water or something to drink. So the other people that was with us, like their the boyfriends with their girlfriends, they got them something to drink. Like they cause there was a vending machine at the hotel. So they gave like they got them something to drink. So then I go, cause I old crack knows I don't really have money because I just got scammed because of you. So I go to Croc and like, oh, like, can you just give, can you give me a drink? I'm really thirsty. Croc's talking about, I don't got no money. You don't got no money just to give me a drink? <laughs> a drink? I thought you were supposed to be working a job to try to get my money back. You don't ever got enough money to give me a drink. And I know I don't, but it's because I got scared because of you. I'm out all my money because of you. So I'm over here like when I say my throat was dry, y'all. My dry, I didn't hit nothing in the car that they had because I didn't know who these people are. Like I'm not that I'm not that dumb. So, but it's just like everything in the air. Like I was still dry because this is when I was like real younger. So I wasn't really into none of that smoking stuff and all that like all that stuff. So. I'm, my throat's over here dry. I need water. I need something to drink. But you know my bougie so I don't drink tap water. Like, especially at a motel. And the motel looked dirty. Like, no, I wasn't drinking no tap water. So I was, like, stressing. Like, when I was, like, so depressed. You, I mean, not even depressed, but I was so, like, sad in my head. I'm like, why did I come here? Like, it was the worst, like, 24 hours of my freaking life. Like, it was so... It was so bad. Like, and then literally Croc... After we got in that argument, because Croc couldn't give me none, talking about, I'm, I'm going to go steal you something to drink from a gas station. Never sold a drink, never gave me no drink, didn't do, like, you keep talking, you don't do nothing. Like, this stuff was actually pissing me off. So then Croc left me into the motel room, in the motel room by myself, and they went, Croc went to another person's room with all their peoples, and they were just, you know, I don't know what they were doing in there. But Croc didn't come back to like late, late, late at night. I don't even remember seeing Croc for real. But then the morning came and Croc's like, okay, let's go. Like, and then driving all of us back. Dropping all of them off first too. And then dropping me off dang their last. I'm like, bro. So you came all the way here to pick me up. Take me all the way to Chicago. Put me in a motel. Didn't give me no nothing to drink. Didn't give me no food. And then draw me right back off at the dorm. At this point, y'all. At this point, I was done with I was done with Crocs. Because I'm like, you're just a weirdo. You're a weirdo. You pissed me off. I think you stole my money. And you're still broke. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what's going on with the people you're around. But I can't. I can't do it. 
I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I cut it off or whatever. And Croc was like trying to be like, no, still mess with me, still mess with me, mess with me. I'm trying to get you your money back. Like, calm down. And I'm like, fuck no. Literally fuck no. Cause you got me fucked up. Oh, I can't cuss on here. No, like I was like, no, like you got me messed up. Never again. Never ever ever again. Worst mistake of my life pissed me off and but then like i think like a while back this is when i started talking to my new person my new little yeah or whatever <laughs> my, <laughs> yo i'm so ugly my new little yeah and um this is like way in the beginning though so i told my new little yeah about the last situation but then i was like still like texting croc neither on no flirting stuff not on no like anything like that it was really like me being cordial just so i could get my money back just so i could get my money back because Croc kept playing games like about i'm going to get the money back still so i'm of course if a person keeps saying they're going to get the money back i'm not going to just be like i'm going to block you because like at the end of the day that was a lot a lot of money i lost so if you're going to keep texting blow my phone it's like you're going to, you're going to get some money maybe one of these times is going to come true and i'm going to get the money i'm going to be finally happy i would never forgive but at least i will be better like financially but no it was always a lie i never got no money i didn't get a cent i don't think i got a cent after that from this whole like the whole months after when i even started talking to little yan i was still trying to be like optimistic about it never got a dime so yeah eventually when me and old little my new little yeah got serious i cut i cut crocs off blocked croc and well cuss cuss croc out because don't ever play with me don't i like i'm a pussy i mean don't i like i'm a person that wouldn't like stand up for myself because yeah i would be nice for the money but like i was always talking my little one two two i was never a punk i'm never giving punk y'all should know that by now i'm kind of crazy so i cussed did my little big one then blocked and that was that and to this day never really heard from croc um what I learned was, like, not everybody... I would never mess with somebody that's broke, broke. And I know that's so bad to say. But, like, really, after that whole experience... And then somebody else, right before my new little yeah that I was messing with... There was somebody in the middle of that that I was talking to. And that person was low-key broke, too. And was trying to, like, ask me for gas money and stuff like that. I was messing... <laughs> I think there was, like, a really, like, a three people... Well, two people after crocs that i was like talking to not even like doing that but talking to and they were like didn't have no money and they were like kind of trying to use me so <laughs> um what i learned is i don't think i would ever mess with somebody like i don't mind if you don't have money money like you don't have to be rich i don't really care about that but like if you're really that broke and you're trying to like use me i'm not i don't like that so i don't think i can ever be with somebody that's like that 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 broke in the beginning because i have trauma and it's okay to have trauma so yeah that that's the moral of the story i was dumb as a kid I didn't, not even a kid but as a young 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 fresh 18 19 i was really dumb if I could go back now today, I would heal a better way after the breakup I had. Because looking back at it, that whole breakup, my freshman year led to so many bad things afterwards. I was just trying to fill a void and trying to get like that connection with some, not even connection, but like just to have somebody to, you know, do my one two with. And it never turned out good. And I got used and one day i'll well now y'all i'm not broke no more let's just clear that up i'm i'm not i've been not broke but that little time in my life before i met my new little yeah i was it was really bad for me so yeah y'all that's the um story time the spooky story time of how i got scammed out of all my money 
and comment down below what you think bye <laughs>